So another thing to know about the insert command is that you can use it to bulk insert data. So we can insert 10 different users at once, or we can eventually, once we get to it, we can update 10 different users at once or delete 10 or whatever it is. Um, but for insert, the way that it works uh, is that rather than just giving one set of values, like Charlie, who is 10, we just use a comma separated list. So we tack on a comma, and then we add another one, Sadie, who's three, and then comma, Lazy Bear, who is one. A note about the comma placement, does not matter. Um, you'll see it. I, I think what's more logical is actually to put it here at the end of the line, uh, but often what you see is here. I think it makes it easier uh, for you to just visually break things up and to see Okay, here's a new line and here's a new line, but really just a matter of preference. So don't pay too much attention to that. Um, don't pay any attention to that, actually. What's important is that we have a list and we can multiple insert all at once. So let's try it. So we have our cats table with Blue and Draco. We will do an insert into cats and we'll do name followed by age. Now we have values and our first pair or our first set of values will be oh boy this is the hardest part of teaching this stuff coming up with the fake data um, let's say peanut and peanut is two and comma you could have put the comma there it doesn't matter um, let's say the next one will be called butter who is four Yes, I am looking at a thing of peanut butter in my kitchen right now. Um, so that's where that comes from. And lastly, let's do, sure, jelly, who is seven. Just like that, we need our semicolon to end it. Now we get something slightly new. Query okay, three rows affected. Awesome. So to check our work, we can just do select star from cats again. And I should be consistent, it doesn't matter, but I'll capitalize the from. Now we have blue, Draco, which were there before, peanut, butter, and jelly. That turned out nicely. Um, and we inserted them all with one command. So later on in the course, when we start working with uh, some more complicated data, what I'll actually do is give you a file that has an insert statement that will insert let's say 20 different items into a database, 20 rows. And you'll be able to run that one line and get kind of starter data that you can use. Um, it'll be an easy way to populate your database with data without having to do it manually 20 times. Okay, so that's all there is to multiple inserts.